I found the tiniest hat at my studio this weekend that we made for Charlie the Crow. One of the strangest jobs of costuming maybe I've ever been assigned were little tiny masks with two little black jet beads for eyes that were fitted over the crows because a crow will not fly if he can't see. And so these little feathered, beady-eyed masks went on to the crows on the uh, the play you know the, the school schoolhouse yeah. the jungle gym the jungle gym that's the word I'm trying to think of and um, that's and they sat there and that's the way because those crows had taken Ray almost two years to trap only thirty five crows they are so canny and so cunning. And so to lose one crow was a major, major disaster. I particularly remember Tip's bravery, though, and consideration, because, again, I worked so closely with her on set every day. And the scenes where she was attacked by crows were actually rather dangerous. I mean, we didn't realize we were putting her at risk, but when she was finally in that film on the, on the ground and the crows were on top of her, um, I had rigged with elastic on their beaks so that by pulling back, they still looked as though they were pecking her. And it would take sometimes three or four hours to rig one of these shots. And there she would lay patiently with us doing all of this. And then there would be the take where more birds were poured into this small room on top of her. And the direction was that she must keep her eyes open as though she's in a trance. And if you can do that with crows walking across your face, you're very focused and brave. No wonder she has 55 lions, 155 lions today. She's brave enough to raise all of them. <laughs>